Hey guys, it's Rinsler and welcome back to Deliver Us the Moon. In the last episode, we managed to restore power to Moonbeer's hub. Decided to follow Sarah's trail as well, because she's ahead of us. She came up before us and we're chasing after her, I think. Follow her trail. She was heading towards Tombow Station, so that's where we were heading. Took the monorail. Found Tombow Station to be locked up tight very fucking tight forcing us to bypass it into Reinhold station instead so enough rambling from me let's jump back in get back to exploring find out what the heck's going on enjoy well hello there we have made it back to Reinhold station this is where we left off we're going to hopefully find out what the fuck's going on Investigate this place. Something's definitely dragged. That's got to be possibly the helium three containers. What are you? Are you anything? Very bright. Moon man, hope and despair. Let's read it. Backside. When the astronaut uncovers the grave truth behind the deserted moon settlements, he finds himself hesitant. Greener passages on distant planets. Is it betrayal or wisdom? That's an interesting question to ask. What would you call it? Oh shit. People. Scan you. What you be? In spite of WSA efforts to reduce the mental and physical burden on lunar colonists to acceptable levels, not all colonists were left untouched by the conditions on the moon. The events at Hugens and the solitary existence at Reinhold seem to have left their mark on the base on operator's mind. I think they all went a little bit crazy. Blue handprint on the back of that. See what we See what Alex can pull for us. Five hours before the blackout. Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moon Hill with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platform. I'll find the operator to board the train for you back. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. Window at your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Ah. Guess the uh they decided thanks thanks Alex. I think they decided to leave. Unlock you yet? No. Sarah, are you in here? Wondering if she made it to Tombow Station and then locked it up to stop other people getting there because it was so bad. Or did she get diverted here as well? Station power very low. Monorail station, monorail station offline. MPT network offline. What's this guy doing? has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the tracks powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? Ed you who's Edgar? Watching me with that thing? Are you going through the domes? At Huygens? Everybody Colonists, we're here for safety. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. Hey, hey. I got bad news. Uh, lovely bad news. We all love bad news. No, just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? If the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. Beatles? They'll carry you across. Oh, fucking Beatles. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sand's rough out of here. Broke a lot of Beetle legs trying to cross the hose. Okay, what the hell are you on about? There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. It's over. Get back inside, I found something. Bring the package. 
Am I going to have to drive to fucking tumble? Tumble. What are you? It all goes here. Oh, all the unexplained shipments of materials in Helium 3 end up in Copernicus. Why? That is a damn good question. So we made it to Ryan Hall. Ah, right, sorry. No, not that one. I already looked at you. What's this one? I was wondering about myself, what are these? They can't be for communication, we already had radar communication without them. Are they space shuttle thing? Do they shuttle pods like ends of rockets? Or covering the ends of rockets? This thing's getting fucking interesting. Keeping you safe while you're s Sorry, no. I don't know why I didn't read that correctly. Keeping you safe while you save us. Alex, thank you very much. Diagnose, please. Now to connect to the network. It's no thingy. MPT per one not aligned to Reinhold. Station power insufficient for long distance control. So I've got to go back out to align the pillar. Open bay doors, please. Oh. They're dropping off the truck. When I get in there, they're going to lift us out. Guess we're going for another ride. Oops, scan. Hello. What might you be? Much like Maria B. Hi. <laughs> English. Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of the Hugens malfunction. I don't know why they pronounce it Huygens. Reinhold operator Edgar De Davis has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosa Levert for the Hugens cryosleep malfunction and establish a suspicious link between lunar colony activity and disappearance of Helium-3. So I guess our guy there, over the, well, the shadow over there, he was looking into laws of missing fucking shit. Big conspiracy theory. Alright, Alex. Guess we're going out. Are you ready? Ooh, oxygen. I'm going to leave that for now. That's going to be helium 3. Got to get into that airlock. I think we're going out in this truck, but I want to explore first. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> I like the fact, you know, a bit low gravity. Stung by a scorpion, they took my map, but only I knew the way for the beetle to cross. Backside, cowards. Can I take that one? No. Get the feeling there. This guy's a little bit crazy. To Two hours before the blackout. Since we're not going to get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Evac one, come in. Do you copy? Damn it! <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> For the first time, I know everything. No more secrets. Right. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see, see what you were up to. They're stealing the, the Helium-3 to fuel rockets to bugger off. That's what they've done. You stranded us here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. 
simply a flick of the switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. Would you class it as betrayal if if the team buggered off? If the rest of the humans up here buggered off? Left Earth to its own devices? I doom everyone on the on friggin' who's left on Earth to death. Uh, am I lift, is it lifting me out? Oh, it is. Hope I can get back in. <laughs> Hope it's easy to get back in. in a crater five years after the blackout that's where we're heading can't get that one yet we're in a proper fucking crater here watch out for big ass fucking potholes Whee! so that'll be the monorail system Wondering if I've got to, if we're going to have to drive out, of, try and get out of here on in this rover. I'm not, oh, I'm not fucking straight. Come on. There we go. On foot. I'm going to go in, turn these power things back on. Uh, yes, I shall press the uh, airlock. No suits in here, so there's definitely been someone here and they've escaped. Uh, can't do anything with those, can I? Oh. Alex! Can you fix that? No, you can't. I'm going to take you underneath though. Can we get you through the door? No, I can't. Aha! Scan, please. Thank you, Alex, for opening the door for me. And off we go up the ladder. I think we're going to have to go back outside. I like how there's no. like nowhere for people to sleep. You would expect someone to be, like these stations to be, can kind of like lighthouses, man, like manned, for set periods of time. So there'll be someone who lives here for like a couple of days shift and then gets swapped out for someone else. That I am surprised about. And we're running. Trying desperately to find. Oh, there's a ladder. I was worried there for a second that there was going to be no ladder. I'm going to have to be climbing up the outside. And uh, let's not touch that. Stephanie's that looks hot like I'm just gonna burn me oh shit come on Ooh. that didn't want didn't want to turn off just wait for the it's dust to move that gas that's coming off I'm waiting for that to stop. Ow. Don't kill me. We're alright. We're totally fucking fine. I meant to do that. I just wanted to test see if the... Uh, just fucking monorail station up there. Monorail thing. 
Right, sorry, getting distracted. Run out of bloody oxygen. Oh, this thing has it. This thing's got oxygen. Must plug in. Hello, Alex. Um, right. So we connecting to the base. Oh, too far. Too fucking far. Out of range. Um, that one's not. Ah, oh, okay, I get it. I fucking get it. Connect to this one. Like a chain. This one, that one up on top of the cliff, hits this one down here. This one. Oh shit. That does not look fucking good. This does not look good at all. Let's go and investigate it. Oh shit, we're actually on the clock. Fucking hell. Go! Don't crash into any potholes. Like that one. I don't think I'll get out of that. If I get in there, I don't think we're getting out of that. That thing's fucking falling over. One, turn, reverse. There we go. Are we in? Two minutes. Run! We're getting bound. And let's just not hang around in this one. We definitely don't have the time to explore this one. Does this mean I can get, can I get power to the thing before it falls over, shit. It's not good, jump. We're running, out. Don't fucking zap yourself, motherfucker. Jump. Uh, almost didn't fucking make it there. Right, bounce up here. Nice and smooth. Oh shit. I don't have time for this. 48 seconds. Shit, this is gonna be fucking close, I feel. Stop, 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 stop. Jump across. Thirty seconds. Fuck me, it's tense. We need to go. We have twenty seconds to get this thing done. I don't know if there's gonna be enough. Fourteen seconds. Uh. Go. I didn't even see the time there. How much time did I have left? I'm now wondering if this thing's going to fall now. Because if this thing falls now, does that mean we'll lose power? Oh shit, it's going to destroy my vehicle. Is 
they have to charge the batteries. I was still on the top of that as well. Am I fucking dead? <laughs> Alex? Get up. You're very lucky you didn't smash your helmet. Yes, this is a normal this is actually a graphic effect. We've got two minutes. Oh shit. And we've got twenty seconds. Run. I think we're just making a run for it on foot. Heading back to Reinhold's. Hope the fuck it lets us in. A minute to get up here. There's no marks, and I don't want to sprint either because it's going to waste me oxygen even faster. Can I get through this airlock? Are you going to lift me up? Oh, fuck. Why is that suddenly opened? I don't mind, I'll take the oxygen. I'm not going in there though. Actually, is there anything in here? I always said I wasn't going to come in here, but <laughs> curiosity got the better of us. How are then? Alex, are you in? Are you inside? Yes, you are. Okay. We made it back. Yay! Power's back on. What are you? Nothing? Heading up, please. First floor, monorail station, and we're not going through that door, of course, we're going through this airlock. Where the fuck does this lead? Oh, into the bay. Um, checked that one already, didn't I? Didn't check all the way over here. There's oxygen over here anyway, so we're going to have a good look. Let's just top that up. Is there anything to scan in here? Whee! Jumpy jumpy. Bouncy bouncy. Let's not jump out there though. Because I don't want to have to come all the way back in. Plus it'll probably hurt when I landed on it because it's quite a freaking distance. Probably break me, yeah. Uh, my ankles. And my knees. Jumping down there. Head into this airlock quickly. And we're back in Reinhold. Right. Doors locked, so we're gonna have to restore something on this computer, I think. Hello computer! Activate monorail, please! So it is definitely Tombo. Oh, that is what they are. No, 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 this can't be right. They can't just leave. Well, they did just leave, I think. I even fail without them. And Earth. They did just leave. They just left us to fucking die. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? What were they thinking? Can they be so Warning. Tombo reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know. I fucking just abandoned us. Still don't know how Tombo I feel about that. Capacity at ten percent. Still going. Still a chance. We have to go. 
this is this would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. Can one person fix it? Okay. Is it fixable for one person Just to do? Because you tried and it hasn't worked. You'll make it to tell me. You'll make it, Sarah. I get the feeling our character knows Sarah. White screen. I'm on my way, Sarah. I'll find you. We Rolf. Are we Rolf? Fucking hell. One, let's go to Tumble. Can we get there now? We can. That fucking took me by surprise, that. I didn't realise Rolf must have left. He must have left in the evacuation, being forced to leave in the evacuation, went back to Earth, and he he's come back to try and fix the reactor and save Sarah, find Sarah. That's kind of fucking blow my mind, the fact that we're Rolf. Never even, never even thought about it. Never even crossed my mind. The dust storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. The solution has to be a tumbo. Don't worry, I'll find it. The MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Wolf. We're pulling in now. We could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could. I wish I could help you. I know you do. We'll be fine though. I'm just gonna put it in the station now. Or under the station, cause fucking hell. The monorail's out. Uh Rolf. Yeah, come can, can we throw it down? Emergent thank you for putting the emergency brake. Alex, did you put the emergency brake on? Uh stop, please stop. Oh, we might end up in the underneath the station. Stop! 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 Please stop! Nobody move. Alex? Don't move. Please travel soon. Um. I'll consider it. Thank you. Right. Can we get out here? Move to the back. Can we get out these doors? Alex? Can you knock a door for me? No? Fine. Guess I'll do it myself. Thanks for nothing. Ah. Oh. I can't believe I missed that. Laser. Oh shit, oxygen deleting. Um Ow. That was semi broken ankles. We need to move quick though. Scan. Oh we're on database. No, I'm gonna have a look at that one. Uh, bridge, bridge providing entry to tumble facility lies in ruins, although no signs shit the climate coming. Though no signs of sabotage, demolition are apparent, the debris bears no marks of natural calamity either, and only a narrow path remains intact for outgoing monorail traffic. Sarah's either reached Tombow before the bridge collapsed or found another way in. I'm hoping she's alright. I would like to actually find her in person. 
two minutes. Oh, we're jumping up. Hope we get. Um, yes, we shall refill. That's very nice of you, game, to have a nice refilling station down here. Probably not. Are we climbing on top of this fucking bomb? Never mind, alright then. Let's just climb on top of this helium 3 bomb. Because, of course, not. Ooh, monorail. What are you? Database. I'll check you in a minute. I think we need to kind of hurry up and uh, get ourselves in. Uh, excavation machine. When Dr. Rosa Lever joined the WSA, she committed herself to one single goal developing a sustainable energy source for Earth. To that end, the copious amounts of helium-3 harvested from excavated moon rock made for outstanding fuel. Still, it would take her years to develop a reactor that would efficiently process helium-3. Only then could the resulting energy be transmitted by the MPT. I don't, still don't quite understand how the energy is transmitted. But... Fuck it, we're just going to roll with it. It's science fiction. <laughs> Refill, please. Oh. Um. Am I going to have to do a run and jump across here? Is that going to be... Right. Whee! I don't fucking believe I made that. Right, um. Oh. That, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss. Oh shit, that was close. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this place be well and truly fucked. I'll have that oxygen, please. Can I have that oxygen? Is there any oxygen in it? Yes, there is. Thank you. Uh, right, so I can't get up that one. I might have to climb up there onto that and then jump across to something. I'm going to check the door first, though. Well, that's definitely airlock on the way in. I'm going to check if there's anything in here. No. We're all right, Alex. Ah, there's nothing in there. We definitely can't unlock that. Sarah, hope to God you made it in here okay. Alex, get in. We're in. Sarah? Hello? Please say there's not a big fucking alien or something in here. Airlock's... Strange. That airlock's... Uh, not airlocking. Open on both ends, which is not a good sign. Alex Beast. Camera. You follow me? You are. Someone's watching me on this camera. That camera's following me. Are you AI controlled? Uh, please deposit luggage on the conveyor belt. Remove all metal items from your person. Place them on the conveyor belt. Uh, don't know why that's so fucking 
Oh, there we go. That's a bit easy. Fill out the tumble facility. Sign in sheet while your luggage has been checked. You're gonna to have to go through there, Alex. Don't think we're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to find a way in. Right, Alex, can you go through here? It sounds very much like a U-Haul. Uh, what do you do? Is that a full reset, or did that just turn off the... Did that turn off the whole thing, or is that just... Oh, it did turn off the whole fucking system. Thank you very much, Alex. Well, shit. What are you? Powering tomorrow. HE3, helium-3 reactor MPT. Oh shit, this is, is this from Sarah? Check mining operational helium-3 available. State of the reactor MP dish, MPT dish okay. Can Alex access Tombow systems? I think he can. Backside. Excavated from mineral harvest in the quarries surrounding Tombow processed. Helium-3 is a fuel that powers our future. Constructed on one of the richest Helium-3 deposits on the moon, Tombow is the proud and sole provider of Helium-3 reactor. Tombow's state-of-the-art reactor turns Helium-3 into pure energy. Its revolutionary technology ensures that only little input is required to produce a generous output. The produced energy is transported to the MPT battery, where it is stored until transmission. MPT dish. The MPT system retrieves energy from the MPT battery and links it through to the MPT's alpha dish firmly positioned on top of the Tombow facility. MPT sends energy surging from the moon to earth to provide for humanity's energy needs. In case you were wondering how it works, that's apparently how it works. <laughs> I'll check. Can we get in here? No. Couldn't get in that one. That door's open though. Is one on the other side? It is. Does that lead to the same place? Yes, it does. Right, guys. On that bombshell, we are going to leave that here for this episode. We have finally managed to make it to Tombow Station, which is where the reactor is. Chased Sarah all the way here found out like that we are Rolf which kind of fucking blew my mind I don't know why it blew my mind so much because it when you were thinking about it, it makes sense just fucking mind blown we've got our buddy Alex here damn we're gonna next time we're gonna be fixing the reactor I think hopefully finding Sarah in the process because I think this is the whole reason Rolf came up is to rescue Sarah you have to leave her behind anyway thank you all for watching hope you've enjoyed the episode if you have please hit that like button comment share subscribe and all that jazz and as always just see you all on the flip side bye bye